So you want to know what Singapore is like during Chinese New Year? Let me show you. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best places to visit to really see all the Chinese New Year festivities and let's discover Chinese New Year in Singapore together. And what better place to start than Gardens by the Bay? Here at Gardens by the Bay there is a building called the Flower Dome and the theme of the Flower Dome is always changing depending on the time of year. So last time when I came to Gardens by the Bay it was October and there was a gorgeous Spanish theme going on. But now the Flower Dome has been converted to what they're calling Dahlia Dreams. And this theme is of course all about Chinese New Year and the Year of the Rabbit. So in the Chinese zodiac there are 12 different animals so as I mentioned this year is the year of the rabbit. Now I thought it'd be fun if you guys guessed which year I am. Do you think I'm the year of the pig, the dog, the tiger? What do you think? Comment down below and I'll let you know if you get it right. <laughs> Alright guys let's head into the flower dome and see what Dahlia Dreams is all about. Alright guys, I think it's time to head out of Gardens by the Bay. I've had a fantastic time here at Dahlia Dreams. It's definitely an exhibition worth checking out. It's full of colours, culture and I absolutely love it. But don't worry, the video is not over yet. I couldn't film a Chinese New Year video without heading to Chinatown. So let's go and see the vibrant markets at Chinatown. Hello guys and welcome to Chinatown. So as you can probably hear, it's very noisy right now. There are people singing, there are people dancing as well. I'll put a clip on the screen now. There's some aunties and uncles dancing and just living their best life, which is amazing. And that is why I saved Chinatown. This is definitely something you guys want to come and do at night because then you've got the lights, you've got singing, dancing, the hustle and bustle of all the market stalls. So definitely worth coming at night like I have. The lights have been switched on. They get switched on at 7 p.m and they stay on all the way through the night. So without further ado, let's get down. Let's go onto the street, let's see all the markets and let's explore Chinese New Year markets. Now the markets and the lights stretch quite far across Chinatown but the two main streets you want to head for are Pagoda Street and Temple Street. We're currently on Pagoda Street um, but there are some other ones as well but I'm just going to take you around but we're starting on Pagoda Street. red is very prominent during Chinese New Year and that is because the colour red is considered lucky so that's why I wore a red dress today as well. So 
So we have come to the last event of today's video, but don't click off yet because arguably I've saved the best till last. Now let's address the obvious, you can probably tell I'm in some crazy makeup so it is a different day today. Yesterday is when I did Chinatown and Gardens by the Bay, but I am actually back at Gardens by the Bay and that is because I'm visiting the River Hongbao event and I'm so excited to be here. This River Hongbao event has been running since 1986, so let's see what it has to offer this year in 2020. From lights to shows, amusement parks, games and food, there is so much on offer here. Let's start by talking about the lights. It is worth coming to this event for the lights alone. They are honestly so impressive and they've actually been really cleverly made using lanterns. Each display also has a special meaning that relates back to Chinese New Year or the Chinese culture and you'll find a sign next to each display that explains its meaning and I thought this was a really nice touch. My favourite display has to be this one which is the wishing hearts and I honestly just thought it was such a cute display and I love the message behind this one. Unfortunately, there were no live shows scheduled for when I was there, so there were just different adverts and Chinese videos playing, but the stage is huge and I reckon it would be amazing to see a show there. I did happen to stumble across something that they called lantern riddles. Now, unfortunately, it was all in Mandarin, so I couldn't understand the stories they were telling, but there were lots of people gathered around listening, and I thought this was a nice connection to the lantern lights. Moving on to the amusement park and the games, there is definitely no shortage of activities here for kids and honestly I kind of felt like a big kid because some of the games look so fun that I wanted to have a go. <laughs> Lastly we have the food tent which was located in the middle of Gardens by the Bay. My only piece of advice would be to enter with patience because it does get very busy in there but apart from that there is so many different varieties of food and drink to choose from you could definitely find something yummy to eat or a drink to have while you're there. River Hongbao is absolutely free to visit, so considering how much there is to see and do here, I definitely recommend coming along. The only thing you have to go through is a security check before you enter. Okay guys, I think that's where I'm going to finish today's video. It has been an absolutely jam-packed one and one that I hope you have really, really enjoyed. And you could probably do Gardens by the Bay and River Hongbao in one sitting. So you could come to Gardens by the Bay and see Dahlia Dream sometime in the afternoon and then when it starts to get dark, hang around and then catch the River Hongbao event, which has been amazing. So I'm going to try in my absolute best accent and hopefully I pronounce it somewhat correctly. And I'm going to wish everyone who celebrates Gongzi Fatai and Xingyan Kuala. I hope you have a fantastic Chinese New Year year and I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and also hit that red subscribe button down below if you have enjoyed this video so I'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much Come and see.